Hello, Josir. This must be Priestess Rai. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome, Advocate. This will be a rare opportunity to peer beyond the Shroud of Death. I'll be taking notes for my records. Notes? So you don't do this kind of thing often in the Derman Priory. The Priory does a great deal of research on magic from the arcane to the divine. But this is an extremely difficult ritual. I'm tremendously excited to be allowed to participate. My notes may help others in the Priory investigate ancient tombs dedicated to Grenth. I'm looking forward to it. Priestess Rai, are we ready to begin? We are. In a moment, I will pierce the veil between this world and the mists and call to Elastia Crow's spirit. Be warned, she'll need time to respond. During this time, anything could cross through the portal. We may be faced with something unfriendly. Protect me while I maintain the channel, or the gate will close and all will be lost. Understood. We'll be ready for anything. May the Dark One bless our endeavors. Let it begin. Follow me to the heart of these caverns, where the barrier to the mists is thinnest. Should be safe enough to cast the ritual here. Even centaurs would avoid this fetid air. This place is the dumping ground for the centaurs' fallen slaves. Gods, it's horrific! Remember, this ritual weakens the barriers between worlds. Dark things may emerge. You can safely focus on the ritual, Priestess. My friend and I will protect you. Grenth, Prince of Winter, hear your servant's plea. Open the gates to the mists. The living call upon the dead. In Grenth's name, Alastia Crow, seer of wily scavengers, pirate and oracle. I call your spirit to commune. Appear. Appear and speak. Three portals. Interesting. I must maintain them all, else the ritual fails. Stand ready.
Preserve us. Something powerful approaches. Be careful. Pain for pain! Alastia Crow, speak with us. Speak, spirit of Alastia Crow. Grenth, god of death, compels you. Tell me of Kelak, the Seraph. Why did he come to you? Did he kill you? He cheated me. Revenge. I wanted revenge. He sought power to protect his queen, so I made that his undoing. Our crew plundered an Orion ship. One of the treasures he found aboard was cursed. Orion artifacts! Incredibly dangerous! Uh, the Priory... Uh, yes, I'm sorry, Priestess Rai. Of course, later. Speak on, spirit. How did you seek revenge? Kellek took the items. He wanted to find a way to protect Crichton and Zaitan. I knew he would only become corrupted. I thought that would be the end of it. But Kellogg tracked me down aboard my ship. He demanded that I remove the curse. I could not. He was slaughtering my crew. I had to stop him. So I lied. With my dying breath, I told him that the only way to remove the corruption is to bathe in royal blood. By Cormier's hand, how could you do that? He'll go after Queen Jenna. What do I care? The Queen did nothing to help my starving crew or save us when risen ships attacked us on the high sea. My vengeance will be complete when Kellogg destroys that which he was once sworn to defend. Be gone, foul, vicious spirit. Alas, dear Crow. I release you into the arms of Grenth. Go and beg mercy from the Prince of Frost and Ice. Thank you, Priestess. Come on, Josir. We have to alert Captain Thackeray right away. <laughs> 